Hello YouTube, how are you? Such a lovely day in US today. It's kind of nippy as hence the Ushanka, but at the same time we've got sunshine, we're getting some vitamin D and I can actually feel the warmth for a change. It's been lovely, honestly, this time of year it's kind of hit and miss. I call it rainbow season and the rut as well. So the deer are kicking off with their So I'm here now kind of showing off this. Let's have a look. I'm excited. Susie's dad, Papa Bolton, has made another duck coop or another coop. Basically exactly the same as the coop over there, but it's not finished yet and still with the plastic and the pallets on the top, but it's just got one door and it's used chicken wire because I'd say with ch chickens and ducks, they need just a matter of ventilation, but ducks are very wet because ducks are gonna end up living here as well with the guinea fowl. And you might have seen them look there. I'm not sure you'll be able to see through. Sorry, I don't wanna take this off in case they like run through because they're fast. Yeah, because if you if if you think chickens are fast, you can chase a chicken. You ever try and chase them on the days you won't want to catch one of them. That these guys will make you fit, even in the house. And that's another reason I, I learned a lot from them. Like I didn't know they could fly at two weeks old, which I, like I mean I learned that the hard way. I came in the room, it looked like Alfred Hitchcock birds. They were all just like looking down at me, just like they're gonna jump on me and scratch my eyes out. So, but yeah, it's quite funny. That room is a state right now. It's kind of dank anyway, but I need to clear it out anyway. So it's kind of that's what I need to get back and do in a bit. But yeah, so they're they're ten weeks now which is good. So they're gonna, yeah, 10 weeks old. So eight weeks, um, Google says eight weeks they can go outside, but they haven't got all their feathers yet, but they've got most of them. They've got like 80%. So to me, that's gonna be good enough. I donate to the ducks so I can do it to these guys and they're gonna be nestled in here for a bit. Like, I'm not gonna let them just free range because apparently what will happen if I do do that, they'll just wander off and end up in like flipping Africa again or something. So you've got to get them used to the area that they're gonna be in for the rest of their lives and let them out dribs and drabs because then right there, they're a flock. They're kind of, they're, they're one, they're like a unit. They're like, they're kind of, they move together. So if I let four out, those four aren't gonna leave these guys, but they're gonna, gonna wander off and then kind of hear the calls from the other ones and then come back and be like, oh, where you been? Oh yeah, I went down the road, it was lovely. And then one day I'll be able to let all of them out and then they know that this is home because they like to roost up like chicken. So I do have trees over here. If you look over there, is it over there? Can you see them just the top of the trees? I don't really want them to roost in those trees because yeah, it's on the croft, but I don't want them to be over there. I want them to be here because then I can use, utilize their poos and stuff and kind of get some deep mulch in there and then use it, especially with the ducks as well. Let's talk ducks. Let's talk ducks whilst we're here. So I've been dicking around with the pond recently and kind of playing with this because they knocked down the dam wall earlier. It's not, it's not a pond pond, it's a leaky pond. So when it rains, it peels up. In the summertime, this is dry, but I've just been working. I've been putting my waders on and just digging around and just kind of raising the sides up. You can see they've been making holes in the side in that. And this is where they kind of, they broke down the dam and it's just trickling out and leaking down and kind of just feeding all this rush down here. So in time, it's going to be a good, good place to kind of implement and put some fruit trees or something or trees that just kind of will just love all this kind of extra nutrition. And what I was thinking of doing as well is putting like a, a pipe underneath with like a little plug. So in time, like, cause this pond is too small for this amount of these this many ducks but i tell you now some of the boys are going to be kind of taken and used because they've got too many drakes you can't have too many drakes too many sausage a sausage part you know and a sausage fest so i just mainly want these guys for um eggs but again with the drakes i'm gonna have to kind of take them away so that's part of the package we can't dispatch don't hatch so yeah you can see look here the water's just spewing over so i could it's slowly just trickling away just down here so i could compact this in but they can swim in here but again, like I said, I'm gonna make this into maybe just a massive big pond. And I've said this before, but this side over here would be there for the chicken, the ducks for the, the summertime. And then this side would be the ducks for the winter time. So it's quite a big area. It's a lot smaller than obviously over there, but it, can, it would include this bit over there as well, just behind the kind of the dry rocks, croft house and stuff. So, so yeah, it'd be a nice place for them to work and kind of reside and kind of hide away. Cause in time as well, I wouldn't mind having some kind of I can't remember, it's bulrush, I forget the Latin name of it, I'll put it in here, but lots of aquatic, plant, or aquatic plants, because whilst they're over there, it will give me time to kind of dick around and work on this, because I, I get, I know the contour lines of this place, I know where the water settles, which is just why I like winter, because there's water everywhere, there's water there, look, there's water trickling, this is under, there's water underneath this coop here, look, it's all peeing down, down here as well, like you just walk around, you can feel it in your feet, it's just like splash, 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 so yeah, that's what I like with heavy rain, so I can see what, what needs to be done. So, ooh, I'm a seagull frightening me. So, so yeah, so I'm gonna play around here and then see what I need to do here and then make this into like a nice little kind of, nice little chilled place for the summer stuff, so sort of the winter time so they can hide, fertilize the place and I can still get a nice crop from them if that makes sense or a nice crop from this area if that makes sense. 
So there you go, YouTube. So the guinea fowl are outside, thank God. And the ducks are doing good. They're kind of making mess, they're fertilizing the place. And yeah, if you're new here, consider subscribing so for some more kind of guinea fowl duck action. And we've got chickens over there in this pallet structure. But in time, this is gonna be extended and they're gonna have a lot more space. So peace and hugs. So remember, it's not just my agenda, it's yours too. And I hope to see you soon.